Good morning. This is Debbie here for Tutorial Tuesday, a little earlier than normal, um, because basically what I'm going to be doing today is finishing up my face. I've already put on my foundation, uh, my lip scents. Uh, this is Napa, and I've already done my mascara, and I have, bear with me, sandstone pearl shimmer on top, and then I did um, mocha java and then mocha java shimmer on the bottom. Um, first I did mocha java because it's a little bit darker, and it gives... I find a really good foundation for the Mocha Java Shimmer to show better, show more shimmery. <laughs> so that part's already done. So what I'm going to show you today is some alternate uses for lip scents and shadow scents. So first I'm going to use nude lip scents to do my eyebrows. Then I'm going to use Mocha Java for contour and then Sandstone Pearl for a highlight. Now this is different than the Mocha Java and Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. You wouldn't want to use those, I wouldn't want to use those anyways for contouring or highlighting. Um, I mean maybe Sandstone Pearl Shimmer for a highlight, but I don't know. I like just these. I don't want it to be too, I don't know, shimmery <laughs> on my face because then it just looks kind of phony. Then I have Onyx. My label's starting to come off, sorry. Uh, this is my own personal one, so it doesn't look real pretty. <laughs> Gets a lot of use. So this is Onyx Shadow Scents that I'll use as an eyeliner. And then I'm going to use Napa, which is what I have on my lips. I'm going to mix this with my daytime moisturizer to make a blush. So, to begin. And you'll have to apologize. I know this is an unusual time for me to be live and doing tutorial Tuesday, but I'm kind of getting ready anyway, so it made sense to just do it a little earlier rather than do my face in the morning, go, you know, do my work for the day, and then come back, wash my face, and start all over again just for a video. It would be kind of silly. So I'm doing it now, and it also means, because it's a kind of unusual time, that every one of my neighbors is coming and going so <laughs> if you hear a lot of noise it's the cars sorry we have I, if you have never seen one of my videos I explain in almost all of them we have horrible lighting in our apartment so it's just makes more sense to do my videos out on our balcony because then there's at least natural light and you can see what I'm doing because if we're inside I think you'd have a much harder time especially getting an accurate idea of the colors like Napa would not look like this inside at all. So I'm going to start with the nude for my eyebrows. Sometimes what I'll do too, if I want kind of more dramatic, this is obviously just going to be a day look, but if I want a more dramatic eyebrow, I will mix the Mocha Java and the Onyx. Just makes it a little darker. But nude is just very natural. I like them to look more natural unless I'm like going out. So I wiped off the excess and I'm going to use this pointy really thin brush. Get some on there. I have my mirror over here. Sorry. So I'll be looking away from you. It's kind of hard to do it looking at the camera. I just brush it on. If I need more, grab some from that. You'll be able to see better when I do my other eye. Sorry guys. It's just the, the way that the mirror is positioned. And this is kind of on a, like not the most steady surface. So I'm afraid if I tried to move the mirror like side to side, everything would fall. <laughs> and I've had that happen. Like we're on the third floor and I've had myself go right over the balcony. Ugh, it's brutal. And then I would swear and we're live, so that's not cool. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna do the other eye and you'll be able to see better what I'm doing. Ah, uh, I got a little high there. It's much different doing this live than just doing it in the comfort of my home without feeling like people are watching. So I'm more apt to get outside the lines and go kind of crazy just because I am a little nervous. Alright, so that's that. So they're filled in. Um, you know, especially the areas that are a little more sparse, but it's still a very natural look, which is what I typically go for. So, 
that's done nice and quick and easy and what's nice is because it's the lip sense it really um kind of tames them too uh, almost like i don't know if you've ever seen in like um target or cvs or whatever they have like a taming gel it, it works just like that um but it's great because if you already have lip sense then you're not buying yet another product so that was that next i think we'll stick with the eyes and i'll do my eyeliner with the onyx and I'm going to use the same brush I'm just going to dab just a little on the ends if you can kind of see ah, sorry if you can see what I'm doing it's focusing on me sorry all right so I have a little on the end and I'm going to start with the top I always start with the outside and work my way in so that I'm not starting on the inside with a full product on here because it would be so dark and I like to kind of I like it to be more I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> I want it to be darker on the outside corner than than inside is what I'm trying to get at <laughs> so I always start out here and work my way in you get it right okay <laughs> Okay, and now for the bottom. And what's great about using the Onyx Shadow Sense is that it's waterproof and it's smudge proof. Um, so like if my eyes start to water or um, if it starts to rain again like it has been basically all summer <laughs> it won't be uh it won't be messed up it'll stay put and i don't have to worry about any flaking down on my cheeks or anything like that so this is perfect i'm gonna do the other eye ah. sorry <laughs> I know you guys probably can't see this side so well. I'll try to make it a little easier, sorry. Okay. Sorry, I'm right-handed, so, I mean, most people are right-handed, but I just find doing one eye is way easier than doing the other, and I inevitably get really wonky with the other eye. <laughs> so, just clean it up. Normally I would use a Q-tip to do this, but my Q-tips are in my bathroom and I'm on my balcony, so I'm just gonna use my finger. Just kind of smooth it out a little. And now I'm just gonna go back over this side a little just to make them a little more symmetrical because I got a little more on this side than that so that's it that's the onyx shadow sense as an eyeliner which isn't gonna budge can't beat that <laughs> and next I'm going to use the mocha Java as a contour and then after that I'll use the sandstone pearl as a highlight but we'll start with mocha Java. and for this I'm gonna wipe off the excess from the wand pick my brush which I'm gonna use this is um, a contour brush so I'm just gonna do a couple dots I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is kind of um like my face <laughs> I don't know what you would call that like stretch my face I guess <laughs> just to find that cheekbone line because um, that's where you want the contour to go so I'm gonna now <laughs> and just a few little dots And then just smudge it out and what this does is kind of help to accent the cheekbone and also slim the face a little okay and it will all make more like it'll look better once I'm all done <laughs> so then for this side I'm gonna get my three dots and smudge it out Okay, so 
easy peasy. Um, and then I'm gonna, actually, you know what? Hmm. I'm also gonna use the Napa for my blush, so I'm not sure which I wanna do first. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do the Napa first for the blush, because it's basically what you end up with are three lines. So the contour, the blush, and then the highlighter. But I think with the shadow sense, I think if I tried to do this over it, it might kind of overshadow it. So I'm gonna do this first. Um, now this is Napa, which is gonna match my lips. So just so you can see, here's the Napa. It's got kind of a, like a frost to it. So I'm gonna blend the Napa with Sorry, it's so bright with my moisturizer. If I were wearing um, like a, a matte color, like nude or mold wine, something that's, that doesn't have that frostiness or a shimmer, then I would blend it with the pearl scents. But because this already has a frost, I don't want to be like, ah, like glowing. <laughs> so I'm not going to even mix it with the pearlizer. I'm going to mix it with the foundation. So to do that, I'm going to put just one little pump on my hand. And shake it up. Get that pigment nice and blended in there. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, that's good enough. So now I'm gonna take my wand. Normally, if I were doing my lips, I would wipe all that excess off, but I want that. So I'm gonna just put it not into the moisturizer because I don't wanna ruin my wand. This is my own bottle, so I would like to use it again. <laughs> So I'm going to put it right next to it. Hopefully you can see pretty well what I'm doing. You have to work kind of quick with the lip sense because it does dry quickly. So for this to mix it, I'm going to use just the end of a brush. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing okay. Let's mix that up. Take that off. And then I'm going to use my brush. Just dab it on. Sorry, I have to use my mirror because I have a hard time looking at my phone and doing my makeup. <laughs> and you could always make more if, um, you know, if you did too little, but I think this is just the right amount. It doesn't look quite as bright as it does on my phone. <laughs> it really looks more like natural. Okay, so there's that. Now what I'm gonna do is the sandstone pearl for my highlighter. So kind of the same as the contour. I'm gonna do just a few little dots across the top. And then that same contour brush, just blend it in. And of course you could try it with different colors. These are just the colors that kind of work with my skin tone. And I'm just gonna kind of blend it all. Cause you don't, again, like even though it's three lines, you don't want it to actually look like three defined lines. <laughs> That's not a good look. <laughs> so just kind of blend it in. So I think that's everything. I made myself a list so that I wouldn't forget. <laughs> so we got my eyebrows, we did the blush, we did the contour, the highlight, and the eyeliner, and we're done. So that's it. If you have any questions about any of that, or if you want recommendations for colors that would work, um, just PM me or comment below. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye.